last chance to look at me. Green Wars. Welcome back to the Bavaria series where there is a lot of action going on in the world. Poland-Lithuania has been betrayed and backstabbed, the western expanding Russian Empire and the Elbians are attacking. The fate of the Italian peninsula is on a knife edge as these three countries compete to gain the upper hand and Venice has just joined the enemy alliance after fighting the first few wars on our side. In America, the Belgian Confederacy has the upper hand but he's isolated. Plantagenia and Vinland actually have a higher combined brigade count than the Belgians. Gran Colombia might not be on his side anymore. The truces here are ending in 1851. So Spambot, who's subbing the Belgian Confederacy, is desperately trying to make sure that the Joe monarchy keeps intervening on his side in America. But the DM's not interested because he's too busy with the pressing issues in Europe. In Asia, there was a surprising move where the Dzungar Khanate betrayed the Hugbox and tried to help the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom against Qing, but he immediately exploded. Russia actually wants to prop up the Dzungar Khanate to use them as a big buffer state against a potential Chinese threat. I was told that the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom was actually on the verge of winning this war against Qing and Japan, but the Mughals came in from behind and ruined it, so the Asian Hugbox lives on. The Burgundy player got off to a rough start with his huge rebellion opening the door for us to start picking away at his feelings, which is hugely beneficial for me on Bavaria. But you could argue that that rebellion was caused by the previous player who left the new player with that situation about to explode in his face. Now it's time for the new Burgundy player to prove himself, to come in and show us what moves he can make to undo Burgundy's bad position. The alliance of Burgundy, Scandinavia, Aragon and potentially Venice is still very strong. If you count up all the brigades, they get a total of 378. Here's our alliance and the dual monarchy dominates it in the brigade current followed closely by the Elbians. He's busy fighting Poland of course so it's not going to be a clear matchup between the two total brigade counts of the alliances. Here are both alliances total brigade counts but as you know if you've ever watched any of my videos it's never quite as simple as that. How is everyone's miltech looking then? Well the dual monarchy who has the biggest brigade count in our alliance is lagging behind a little bit at 7. Burgundy is very good and Scandinavia is at max. That means that the enemy alliance is better off here overall and it seems like they have a great plan for a surprise attack. I overheard it but I wasn't supposed to be there. Before we get into it remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more and just briefly I'm going to talk about something that all YouTubers end up talking about one way or the other. Yep, it's the monetization issues talk. If you've read some of my community posts you'll know a little bit about this already. And I would also like to thank everyone that's commented on those expressing support and patience. Every video in the Bavaria series so far has been flagged with limited monetization when I upload it. I leave it unlisted for a while and make them do a human review, which is similar to what I've done whenever I've had any copyright issues. And then within a few days they've always cleared it as suitable for all advertisers. This has been such a stressful and completely pointless thing. They always find eventually that my videos are completely fine. They've just added an extra step which could take up to a week in theory but usually takes a lot less than that. Before you start suggesting what it is about my videos that could be flagging their bots and algorithms to demonetize the videos, this is a change on YouTube's end. For the longest time, for the four years I've been doing this, all my videos have been completely fine. And I've always had haters who might want to maliciously report my videos or something. This is a recent thing and it seems to correlate with their new CEO coming in. So nothing's changed about my videos more or less. Something's changed in YouTube, like they're really clamping down on the word f or something. My videos are getting limited monetization by default, it's like I'm guilty until proven innocent and then of course I prove myself innocent every time, it always works. Such a waste of everyone's time. It's just yet another reason that trying to upload this series with any kind of regular schedule is impossible. And it's a reminder that the whole system of YouTube ads and revenue is extremely unreliable and difficult to work with and they could suddenly withdraw it from my channel at any time for no reason. I'm confident that my videos meet all the guidelines but I've seen plenty cases where monetization gets withdrawn from other channels even if they do meet them. 
That's the situation with my channel right now, which is mostly fine, but with some added unnecessary stress, and the sheer impossibility of having an upload schedule. That's why any support for this channel on Patreon is greatly appreciated. It's a source of revenue that isn't based on the whims of the YouTube algorithm and ads system, which could giveth and taketh for any reason at any time. So having said all that, here's a bloody advert so I can put food on the table, assuming the video gets monetized, which it will be after a human review. I'm gonna declare right now. Everybody get ready to declare. Are you ready? We're all cyber attacking or is it just one? You 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 guys realize spot guns here, right? They're about to deck on something. I went in the channel and they said they're decking. And they just they just typed Boy. it. Everyone join. No. Everyone join. I'm not ready. I'm pulling back. Join, join. Just Maybe pull back. Block, shouldn't they? Who's truth blocked? A lot of them are. But who am I at war with? We're all only at war with Burgundy. Okay, yeah, the well, idiots I'm forgot sure. that they still have a truce. Okay, find your armies. We need to crush Burgundy before the truce ends. Let's do it. Russia joined. Even Bohemia joined, and he's in another war. <laughs> oh my god. No, <laughs> the absolute state. Uh, Russia, Russia, can I get one Wargle this war instead? So I don't. No, no wait. We're killing. We're killing. Wait, wait, Leo Win didn't join. I thought Leo Win joined. He said full CV down. We're going in. We're gonna, we're gonna kill him. Okay. That's just embarrassing, dude. This is just... That is Even the Belgian Confederacy joined. Aragon is oh, they've in. Got Aragon, Aragon is in. That's fine. That's fine. Really? Venice Thanks. joined too. Venice never had a truce. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the Italian. Fine. Yeah, Scandinavia is locked out at least, so push uh, Burgundy and just hold out against Aragon for now, I guess. Albion's isn't here, so I can't do much. We can go through Baden. I need to wait for the Albion's to finish up the Poland shit. They're gonna have to marching into an empty Italy. <laughs> just yep. mob. Yeah, just get. Just honestly, just start sieging Aragon. If his, his stuff's hey, on the Venice is moving into my fucking country. Fuck off. <laughs> Take his mill access. No, he, I'm at war with him. Oh, okay. I didn't think he'd like, move into me. Then we can we can set our offensive yeah. soon. Uh, Bavaria, aren't you gonna hit those Burgundian troops? Why would I? He's right there. His whole army can reinforce that. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a fair point. Sorry. Uh, uh, when when Ben and I start attacking, then you. I oost. Okay? Burgundy is rattled. Connor Connor is mad. He really fucked himself, didn't he? What did he think would happen? We got a year and three months to smash Burgundy into the ground before. Okay. Scandal yeah, we can points. do that. We need to convince Albion to move troops here. Wait, we can go on the same war, the same channel as Russia and Albion's, maybe. I mean, Russia did yeah, join us, so I assume they they find the coordinate. I don't know right. why the fuck Russia would join it, but I... oh, hey, Albion, oh, hey, neighbor. Us. Yeah, neighbor, yeah. Albion's, neighbor. Albion's, uh, can you move your troops to fight Burgundy to wipe him out really quick? You're fine in Poland. Yeah. Chrono, get out of here. Chrono, leave, leave, Chrono. You're not welcome. Albion, Albion. I'm sorry, are you, Chrono. Are you here to, are you here to beg for peace? Game's up. Here's a damage control. Albion's just come down to chat. We want to talk. No, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like you're, you're trying to get me to flip. Like everyone's trying to get me to flip. No, I'm not. Why would he flip? flip? You know, forget it. Fine. I want to get my appreciation for the Belgian help. <laughs> Belgian, you could deck. Hey, I'm I'm imagine. sending three ships. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. I'm just oh, using this probably war as most... an excuse to mobilize, so the Arcadians don't realize. <laughs> Spambot, you were the GM of one of these games, and look at you now, exploiting the hell out of it. I did oh, not yeah. read the rules. Okay. <laughs> Nothing did I. <laughs> Just attack him in Warsaw and the province above, and we're, the, the war is over. I'll start marching all my troops. Just attack okay. his shit. He's tech five, dude. Your other troops moving towards me. Five, okay. Dude, five, dude five, like, it's five. over for this guy. Just fucking. Yeah, yeah it looks like Aragon's abandoning uh, Iberia at least. Oh, he's sieging my country. All right, Ben, I, I'm going to say, like, attack as soon as all your troops are in position. You can siege down Iberia with some troops and move other troops to the DM Spain. Oh, he's moving into Italy, it looks like. Oh, yeah, we're going to catch him in Shamal. That's good. That's good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, DM, this is not very important. Can, can you ban Burgundy and Württemberg? No. Yeah. Bavaria and Bohemia, you guys should attack in Baden now. Banned. I'm moving towards Baden. He's moving his troops away. He's moving his troops away. Okay, good. We're winning, we're winning. It looks like Aragon is moving north. I'm gonna try and move through Baden behind him.
What the Troy is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Germans, you have to attack now. Like, start moving across now. Yeah, they yeah, moved yeah. everything here. Yeah, they, they have everything. Yeah, I know. I'm moving my troops in. I'm on my... Oh, my God. Oh, oh they're, they're hitting, us they're hitting Orleans. Orleans, too. I'm going to pull Orleans. I say pull out Orleans. We're actually yeah. winning this role, so keep it going. Keep it going. Aragon hit me in Orleans. It's fine. Even if it's artillery, just drag it. We just need the men. And I'm going to yeah. hurt them pretty badly there. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. I'm in an awkward position here. Yo, know, neighbor, you're really hurting this guy. You just got absolutely destroyed. Shut up. Well, we're literally, you're literally gonna get stack wiped and destroyed here. Like, oh yeah. You don't have to like weasel out of this somehow. Alright, I'm gonna pull back. I'm pulling I'm back to try to. Oh my god, Scandinavia is here. Wait, what? is Scandinavia in the war? No. He's, He's not. He's just killing rebels. Fuck. Okay. I can kill a loaded fucking depleted Burgundian troops actually. Behind his life. They're taking yeah. losses here. Follow up to Maloon? Yeah, yeah, follow up, follow up. This is the kind of fancy. Just follow up and then yeah, we'll win the Yeah, because those troops battle. are really depleted. Uh, DM, yeah. follow up to Mulan. DM, 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 DM. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, we can maybe surround that fucking army. Yeah, with the help of fucking Bavaria, you can. We're surrounding that, we're surrounding oh, that right now. Oh, he mobilized, he fucking mobilized in my ass. Yeah, try surrounding it. Oh, we can detect the deleted troops, uh, depleted side. So They're about to be fucking deleted. Can you detect them in, uh, Oxea before they get a reinforcement tech? I don't know if we can surround that, actually. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. might, I might have to pull out of this battle. I've got him in Ogzer. I'm there. I'm in Ogzer. Yeah, yeah, get him, get him, get him. Alright, I'm gonna pull out of this battle. DM, pull, pull right. back to Orleans. Pull back to Orleans. Yeah. I got a horrible roll in Ogzer, but I'm okay. Are you gonna, gonna fall gonna up to Paris? Oh my god, let's surround that. Surround that. Yeah, yeah, Paris, Paris, Paris. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll move everything to way. Paris. That is the entire Burgundian one. army. This could be over. Okay. Yep, it is over. It's over. Just a couple days. And it's the Bavarians arriving in Beauvais. We're there. We can't lose this battle. We can't lose Pull out the depleted stacks. Oh, Poland surrendered. Yeah, Poland surrendered. Albion's crashed. The Albion's isn't doing anything now. He didn't even move any troops up to help in these battles. Yeah. Uh, guy fucking crashed, man. We could have had the Polish army encircled three fucking times consecutively. Yeah. We've won both wars. We're fine. Just Where you guys uh, circled him? Black Jar, yeah. yeah. My game all crashed. Them. I was trying to say. I don't know if you guys could have Look at Scandi. Scandi thinks he can, uh... He was just killing Burgundian rebels. For the second time in this session, the misery is for Burgundy, not me. Oh, the oh, misery. Oh, the misery, yeah. Oh, this is so satisfying. Uh, I love the smell of a good stack wipe in the morning. We won this war without the Albion support at all. He didn't send a single brigade to contribute. It was Bavaria. Just remember that. Bavaria, DM, Savoy, and uh, Spain. Dude, are they just gonna, like, let this happen? Look at Poland's misery. Oh, uh, follow look, up in Dijon. Look, you can wipe they're attacking I certainly am. Yeah, no. Don't worry. They're attacking oh, into uh, Leon. Why are they attacking into hey, the Hey, someone reinforce that. DM, reinforce that. Reinforce it, yeah, DM. Yeah. With your Beauvais. Spil split Beauvais. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm sending some I have some moving. Venice too. is sending another stack, but I can deal with it. They need to surrender. This is... This is just pathetic. <laughs> they're getting crushed yeah. in the forest. Dude, look at this! This is a slaughter! 
I just wiped them in the south. Alright, let me do some accounting. Burgoyne is... Everyone can agree that I'm getting my core back? Yeah. Yeah, you're getting your core and... No. Savoy is sieged. Oh, Savoy is sieged down. Lizard, it's over. Oh, <laughs> it's uh, over oh. for Lizard. <laughs> They full no, siege no, no, down. I, 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 just, I just don't don't get the skill issues that the Burgundies this game have had. Oh no, my I ships did. are getting sunk because of attrition. Burgundy, <laughs> Burgundy has a liberal party. Yes. <laughs> Anti-military. Laissez-faire, that is... Hey, 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 the absolute state. Does he not know how to fucking play for, like a republic? Right, DM, can you reduce Burgundy in, in Württemberg to... Uh, yes, sir. ...lower points? Should yeah. I just ban him? <gasps> Amazonian war! Oh my god! Whoa. Yes. Which is more uh, viable, Bjornia or Lotharingia? Lotharingia, yes. Uh, Lotharingia can actually form a map, Bjornia just a meme country. Excuse me, uh, Bjornia can form England? That is a map. England All right. is a map. Emilia is 22, yeah. okay, I'm adding that. Everyone's fine with that. Let's do a three way transfer over Baden. Who's not in the war here? Uh, I'm not in the war. Hey, yes, can you justify transfer on the dual monarchy, please? Sure. Good job, everyone. There we go. Nice. You know what you should do? You should join the Belgian war when it's eventually being decked. Yeah. Wait, uh, Spambot, will you give me infamy? Uh, yeah, sure. That You're like landlocked. I don't have transports. But if Spain gives me Guantanamo Bay... You can take my, the, the Polish... I don't think island. I can... Oh, do a yes, Poland! What do you want in exchange for it, Poland? Uh, money. I can try. I'm, my economy has turned around lately, though. I might be able to help. So is anyone sure. gonna join my war? Because literally two stacks is enough for me to, like, dominate. I wish I could. If Poland gives me uh, the, his little island, I'll build ten transports. Poland? Oh, yeah, I got you. I'll, I'll send you choose, man, but... Spam by like a might. Zest? Kind of like well, if you might, then, then we all, we all know I won't need him for Russia. Why is there I'm a new Santara people. player? Like, what nation is that? What? New oh, Santara. it's, uh, it's uh, in Indonesia, Malaysia. It's I a really know. brilliant nation that just blocks a European from having the fucking oil. Yeah, it's yep. totally necessary addition to the mod. Thanks, but I have this great mod. I really more infamy slaves so we can get more transfer wars because everyone loves those. Yeah. Do you think I should move troops to England? Like, do you think Scandi will try to fuck shit? I think he's probably going to. I don't know. I mean, I guess he can if you have a bigger army. But, I mean, he is mobbed. If you want to truly beat Scandinavia, you need to build a bigger navy then. Yeah. yeah. I feel like he's just gonna deck on you whenever this is over. It looks like he's gonna deck right now, honestly, so either mob and send everything or don't. Right, I finally- I got bad in, boys. It's over. Okay, I'm building 10 transports in my new colony to help spam bot. Guys, guys, guys! I'm reformed. I'm westernized. Who's westernized? Zangar. Zangar Khanate. Wow. Wow. By the way, you know I have respect for wow. this Kark motherfucker. Oh, Kark left. <laughs> uh, Ben, you're gonna have yes. right? I can't because I'm about to fight Scandinavia. Oh, are you? Yeah. Where have I seen this one before? I need to kill rebels in Moldavia. Wait a second. He cut you off. 
It's you can actually have to cut me off. Oh yeah, man, it's cut me off. Oh, yeah, it's cut me off. Oh, yeah, it's cut me off. Oh, Aragon's oh, going yeah. in on Venice to take capital. Oh. Is that an AI? That's so cringe. Cringe. Uh, take capital, you said? I can just fly on Venice. What do you want off Venice? Oh, take capital, take capital, take capital. Well, how many days will it take you? Because Aragon's oh, going to take 510 to get it. Yeah, it's going to take it. Aragon's going to get it first. Justify, humiliate, and then take capital. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dismantle forts. And then move your armies through um, Bavaria. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. 165 days. You'll get it first. You'll get it first. Nice. Who's doing the justify anyway? Uh, Poland. Uh, Poland. Poland. Ah, right. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get this reinforcement stacks. Yeah, I think this yeah. whole uh, Scandinavia thing is going to work out. I outnumber him quite a lot and I got everything over. You haven't got everything over. You need more. Nearly. You only have a month until he gets the thing. Why don't you declare war on him? Actually, Burgundy will join if you do that. Never mind, I'm wrong. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On review of the VOD, Poland never announced. <laughs> what did he not announce to join? The American oh, War, apparently. Nice. Holy shit, he didn't join an Amer announce to join an American War. What are we gonna do? We're just gonna have to cancel the campaign. It's over. Bye, guys. Barbie and Albians are talking. Remember, Ben, whatever happens, me and you, okay? Yep. It's me and yeah, you no, to the I end, agree. bro. Whatever happens. I agree. Yeah. You know, in those negotiations over who gets the war goal with that war where the Belgians was in, I was pushing to make sure we got you instead of Bohemian Land, but we got them both, which is nice. Sorry for having the game paused, I had to... the gruel lawyer. Hey, you better be sorry. Why? What I'm happened? Kidding. Did Poland do something stupid again? Poland announced to join a war, but it never typed in actual all -chat. Yeah, we, we have to wait 10 minutes to know if Poland, a dead nation, can join an American war. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh the mis war. Big war. Okay. You, you can win that. Holy shit, you yeah, have I like know. Got, I have like, no idea. Troops. I have no idea why he's doing it. Why does he like... say joining? Does this guy still not know how chooses work? No, dude. No. <laughs> if he finds a way to join, good for him. But I, I don't know. He's, he's gonna break the space time continuum. No! 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, never mind the Scandinavia dual monarchy 1v1 or the desperate American war, the real cliffhanger here is the fate of Venice which is now an AI country with the player gone. Can Poland get in there and take Venice before Aragon's long acquire capital justification is complete? Savoy couldn't make any move for Venice because he still has a long truce from the previous war, so for some reason Poland has decided to help us. Let's take a look at why that happened starting with their war against the Albians in Russia. Poland did get some slight bragging rights out of causing more casualties in this war. The Albians in Russia made a few mistakes, they had some communication issues especially since the Western War was going on and we had to shout over them to try and get the Albians to help us. And furthermore the Albians had some serious oozing issues, he crashed mid-war and I'm pretty sure he wasn't able to tell us that he crashed for a little while and we didn't even know. Very unfortunate but he did win both of the wars he was in despite not being there. The PLC had no chance obviously and it was a foregone conclusion no matter how many casualties they inflicted and Russia takes six regions from the PLC. The deal is that the Albians will actually be able to take land in the next war. Poland-Lithuania has very quickly switched from a serious power to someone who has completely resigned himself to defeat and the sad fact that he can't even kill rebels in Bessarabia because he's cut off and instead of trying to fight wars and do diplomacy he is going around the world just sort of helping people. He's devoted his last remaining years to charity. He gave me, a poor, unfortunate, landlocked nation, an island. He's trying to help the Belgian Confederacy in sending troops, although he messed up with his intervention and caused a rule dispute. And he's trying to take down the AI Venice so that Savoy gets it instead of Aragon. What are his motives for doing that? Well, he's just trying to help people. Because he's resigned himself to his defeat as a nation, but he still has some resources left. Until the truce with Russia and the Albions runs out. What a guy. 
Speaking of Aragon in general, he just lost a war and he lost a region to Spain but he's still in a very strong position. And now that Venice is gone, his position is even better. If he actually takes Venice's capital here, then that's really bad for Savoy and Aragon would have a completely dominant position in Italy. He even still has Provence. Aragon's been having a really good campaign but as you can see from this video, he's being dragged down by his allies, particularly Burgundy. So let's analyse that war. Here is the war analyzer for the Burgundian blunder. The casualties were very even. It was yet another very hectic, fast-paced early game war. And obviously the reason that the enemy alliance lost was that they really desperately needed Scandinavia and their 10 military tech. If there was a way for Burgundy, Aragon and Venice to hold out and wait for Scandinavia's truce to expire in about a year and a half from the declaration of the war, then that would have been nice, but it's completely impossible for Burgundy and his position. There's no defensible terrain, there's nothing to fall back to. If we go back to the pre-war brigade counts, so I can show you the brigade counts on each side that actually took part in the war. Take away Scandinavia, take away the Elbians. So these are the total brigade counts that were actually deployed in the war. The difference is actually less in our favour than if you include the Elbians and Scandinavia, because the Elbians has a bigger brigade count than Scandi. But Scandi was fully positioned and intending to join the war, whereas the Elbians was busy with Poland-Lithuania and unable to contribute much. And that's why this was such a huge blunder for them. Again, it came down to just not checking the truces. They gave it a very good shot with the bad hand that they dealt themselves, and they won the initial battles. But as everyone piled in, we just had the edge because we had some more troops. We had Spain coming in and me coming in from behind. That pile of depleted Burgundian stacks was actually able to get a full reinforcement tick. I wasn't able to prevent that reinforcement tick because he caught me with some little mobilisation troop, but as you can see, it only went up from 27 to 32 and he has like 5 stacks there. And he successfully managed to bring it to his own territory, which gives you higher reinforcement than occupied territory or enemy territory. If I'm Burgundy in this position, then I'm hoping for an absolutely massive reinforcement tick, but it just didn't materialise, and I'm not exactly sure why, because he still does have a pretty good industry, despite moving to laissez-faire. Maybe it's the anti-military here giving you a debuff to reinforcement. These are the consequences of the Burgundian revolution in the previous part. So, after annexing a massive Burgundian region which has some French accepted pops, but mostly Burgundians, can the dual monarchy extend his amazing comeback to the British Isles? This is a massive opportunity for the dual monarchy. He's essentially able to bypass the Scandinavian navy and send his entire army to the British Isles in preparation for an upcoming war. The opportunity that the DM has here is also a result of the Burgundian blunder. The consequences of mistakes can go on and on for ages. Can Spambot hold out in the Americas against Vinland, Plantagenia and Gran Colombia 1v3? It's so sad that he hasn't gotten any support. I tried to build some transports myself and help him but I can't supply them, they just go down to 5%. All of this will be answered in the next part. I hope you enjoyed part 5. Thank you very much for watching. Support me on Patreon because bonus clips from this campaign are coming up soon. Join my Discord, follow me on Twitch, and have a very nice day everyone, goodbye. That's all for today, goodbye.